The PNP Chair Company of Asheboro, North Carolina makes the rocker made famous by a president, the Kennedy Rocker. Since 1926, its woodworkers have turned Appalachian red oak into front porch tranquilizers for just plain folks. In the mid-50s, the small town chair maker filled a prescription for back pain suffered by a young, relatively unknown Massachusetts senator. When John F. Kennedy moved his Carolina rocker into the White House, it became the Kennedy Rocker and a household name. Of course it wasn't but a, a matter of uh, a day until we were swamped with orders from all over the nation. The company says it had been hunting and scraping for customers. Two dozen orders came in from a Saudi prince and as far away as Pago Pago. This Norman Rockwell S. chair business opened 62 years ago beneath the same corrugated tin roof. They still use the late W.C. Page's formula for producing the most durable and the most comfortable rocker. Part of the secret lies in boiling the back post and bending them to fit the shape of a person's back. Billy Page is the third generation to make Kennedy rockers in this plant. He's been getting sawdust under his fingernails since he was 12. This is a small family-owned business where everybody pitches in to help. Cousin John Page presses wood slats into curved backs. Uncle Bill manages sales. Brother Wade supervises production, makes sure no one cuts corners. They pitch a simple philosophy. If you're doing all right, leave well enough alone. Ed McNeil and his mortising machine have been employed here the longest. It was a big thrill to know that the president, you know, would have a chair like this. But on November 22, 1963, the assassination of President Kennedy also wounded these craftsmen. When this thing happened, it was like they'd taken not only the president of the United States, but somebody that we absolutely knew and was part of our organization. The Page brothers have sent out tens of thousands of rockers. Presidents, potentates, and yes, the Pope owns one. Leaving you to wonder if a Carolina rocker is the heavenly throne. I have every expectation of getting to that golden gate, and I can't think of any way that uh, would be of any greater welcome to me than for him to be there with a rocking chair for me. Robert Riggs, Channel 8 News, Asheboro, North Carolina.